Yee-haw! And welcome back to the Southern Snack, where life is too short to be serious. All right, folks, back at rallies, um, slash checkers. Uh, the location I went to was at checkers. Uh, I'm concerned about rallies in my area. None of the rallies seem to want to go by the script. So they, they have new Swiss, a new fried mushroom Buford, and they don't have that back home. They also have the returning mushroom Swiss burger. They also don't have that at home. Now they have a bacon Swiss Buford that wasn't really announced, and you can probably get it at whatever location because literally it's the, the, the locations that have Swiss cheese on this are going to have bacon. So you can already get that. So it's kind of frustrating that instead of doing this, they're doing they're advertising a bacon Swiss burger, which I've already tried. And I think it was pretty good. But not exciting, you know? This is a lot more exciting. And the fact that they're not doing fried mushrooms, they're not doing sauteed mushrooms, they ain't got nothing to do with mushrooms is concerning. And I just have questions about it. But we're in Sion, Sion's Crossroads at Checkers, fried mushrooms, and the fried mushroom Buford. All right, so subscribe, please. I uh, like and comment on this video. I'm gonna eat a few fried mushrooms or just one. It's big, so. It almost reminds me of eating fried calamari. The battering is very similar. Yeah, it's it's as you know, it's that batter. It's that batter that goes on fried calamari, but instead of calamari, it is mushrooms. It ain't bad. It no one call it amazing, but it ain't bad. A little salty, and I prefer the mushrooms to kind of have more flavor there. But I'd give it a solid six. I think it could be a bit better. All right, so let's take a look at this burger. This burger is supposed to be have Swiss cheese, sautéed onions, fried mushrooms, salt, uh, and then uh, a mushroom sauce and uh, raw onions. Now you got the raw onions. I see sauteed mushrooms. I don't know if they wrote that wrong. I don't see the sauce, but maybe it's in in the in the sauteed mushrooms. I already had the Swiss mushroom burger, and it's just a smaller version of this without fried mushrooms and onions. So, without onions too. So uh, let's go ahead, chat down, tell you what I think. It's not bad. It's not a whole lot different uh, than their mushroom Swiss burger, but it, it's decent. I think the smaller burger of the two was more impressive. Um, I just think all the flavors balance really well. This, you got two beef patties, a bigger bun, so it's kind of, it knows out some of the flavor. There doesn't seem to be as much mushrooms as I believe that there should be in this. But it's decent. Um, those uh, fried mushrooms are a bit salty, though, as, as I said previously on in the video. Um, I definitely prefer this over the fried mushrooms, but it's not nearly as good as the mushroom twist burger that they have um you get a little bit more bang for your buck a little more pound of punch um but this is not bad i i give it like i'll give it a six and a half it, it's decent it's solid but it, it really could use a lot of improvement and i'm not sure i got the mushroom sauce in there but it's okay 
you know. So maybe I didn't miss out on a lot because I think I ranked the, the Bacon Swiss Buford a bit higher uh, than this. So that's kind of wild, but I guess the bacon really paired well with all that a bit better. So other than that, you know, up to you if you want to get these items, but I would definitely recommend checking out my uh, bacon. Well, yeah, watch, watch the Bacon Swiss Buford review and also check out the uh, Mushroom Swiss Burger review when that comes out. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see y'all around.